Hi, my name is Sam Dhanashekran and welcome to this FL Studio video series. In this video, let us take a look into steps per beat. It can be found at this location, Options, Project General Settings. And if you go there, you'll see beats per bar and steps per beat. From the previous video, remember our settings where it was 4 beats per bar and one step per beat okay so let me go to that previous settings and i'll explain what is steps per beat so what i did was i uh, went ahead and recorded a melody and let me play the melody with metronome So now let me try to add rhythm to this. I know I have four beats per bar. Each of this is a beat. And let me try to make up a rhythm. Um, on the first beat, I'm adding a kick. And on the second beat, I'm adding a clap. And third and fourth, I'm adding a hat. And on the third beat, again, I'm adding a snare. Okay and let me paste this here as i know i have four beats per bar so they fill one bar okay second third fourth now let me turn off the metronome and let me listen okay it's kind of good but there are a lot of gaps between each beats right probably i could fill them with some more variations some more uh, rhythm notes okay so how do we do that let me for that i need to go and change the project property okay so let me erase this okay so i have four beats right now let me go and change the general settings and I tell each beat right now will be divided into four steps so now if you look this is beat one and this becomes beat two and this is this line just this line beat three and this is beat four right and we have four steps in each beat where these three are filling the gap between the beats okay it took a while for me to understand so again listen i have four steps per beat one two three four and the beat starts right at the first step okay and these three fill the gap and the next beat starts right at the first step of the next beat and the rest of the steps they fill the gap okay so now right i can make the same sound by remember in the previous before the modification this entire four lines right four columns were the four beats but now right i have steps in between so this was here in the previous one so it will be here this clap it was actually second beat right so this is the starting of the second beat let me remove this and hat was third beat and fourth beat so this is the starting of the third beat and this is the starting of the fourth beat let me remove it and snare was on the third beat okay which is the starting of the uh, this is the third beat so if i play it now I'll get the same rhythm. Enable the pattern. Okay, but now I can actually fill the gaps with various options. For example, I can fill hat on all these things and make it sound like this one. See? 
So that's what the steps are for, right? So you have beats, right? The first column of each section are the beats and the remaining steps are the gap fillers. That's what steps per beat means. See, now I re-recorded the melody uh, using the new uh, time pattern. Okay, let me paste it and paste the, the new rhythm which would still fill a bar but this time it has like four steps in a bar and it will sound like this okay so basically this steps per beat allows us to split the beats into multiple chunks so that we can have a much more colorful rhythm. 